Hello everyone. Last time we talked about rotation of a rigid body about a fixed point, but we didn't get any chance to solve the problem. Here I'm going to practice a few problems with you. So if you remember, we said, uh, just a reminder, if you have uh, a rigid body, let me write it here. If you have a rigid body, which is fixed to the ground at one point, like point O, then if we want to find the velocity of any points of it, like an arbitrary point like A, then the velocity of A is going to be equal to omega cross R. And R means from O to that specific point like A. So we need to write omega and R in vector forms and do the cross product. And also acceleration of A, if you remember, we said it's going to have two parts. First is going to be alpha cross r. So this object is rotating with angular velocity of omega and angular acceleration of alpha in the positive direction or counterclockwise direction. So acceleration is going to be alpha cross r plus omega cross omega cross r. And uh, this part of it is going to be acceleration in the tangential direction. Uh, this part of it is acceleration toward the center or in the normal direction. And also you can easily see this is going to be negative omega squared times vector r. We can replace it with this one too. It's much, much easier than uh, doing these two cross products if you use this equation. So in this problem we have uh, this object which is rotating about a fixed point like O. Um, we have omega and alpha, we want to find um, angular velocity and we, we want to find the velocity and acceleration of point A. So we need to use the same equations. So velocity of A is going to be omega of our body cross product to R, which is a vector from here to here. From the fixed point to the points that we are trying to find the velocity of it, right? So it's going to be uh, omega cross r, and we need to write both of these in vector form. The equation says, uh, the problem says omega is 4 radian per second, and um, it is in counterclockwise direction, which means it is in the k direction or positive k direction. So the, the vector form of omega is going to be 4 times k hat. And r, this vector, we can write it as the x component of this r is going to be, uh, oh, look at this, r is equal to from o to this point, right, plus from this point to a. So I need to add the x component of this vector and be a vector together to find the x component of r. Same thing for y. So r is going to be, the x component of it is going to be 0.5 times sine of 20 and um, this angle is 20 degree as well so I'm gonna have BA times cosine of 20 BA is 0.4 so plus plus 0.4 times cosine of um, 20 all in the I direction and the j component of r is going to be j component of this vector plus j component of b a vector. So um, the j component of o b is going to be negative 0.5 cosine of 20. And the j component of b a vector is going to be b a, which is 0.4 times sine of 20. And it's going to be in the positive direction. So plus 0.4 times sine of 20 all in the j direction. If you do the math, r is going to be equal to um, 0.547i and minus 0.333j and the unit is meter. So we just need to plug in these um, two vectors in this equation to find the velocity of a. So um, velocity of a will be 
4 in the k direction cross product to 0.547i minus 0.333j and the result is going to be k cross i is j so 4 times this number in the j direction k cross j is negative i we have another negative here positive so 4 times this number um, in the i direction so, uh, so if you do this cross product the result is going to be 1.332 in the i direction plus 2.119 in the j direction and the unit is meter per second that's the velocity and acceleration the acceleration equation is this so let's write it again acceleration of a is alpha cross r plus omega cross omega cross r or negative omega squared times r vector so negative omega squared times r as a vector so alpha if you look at the plot alpha is shown in counterclockwise direction so it is positive in the k direction so it's going to be 7 times k cross product r which is 0.547i minus 0.333j minus omega squared uh, times r so omega is 4 so I'm gonna have negative 16 times r which is point um, 547 again minus 0.333 J so you need to do this cross product and here we don't we don't have any more cross products so we just have this is scalar 16 times this vector so if you do the math and do that cross product acceleration of a will be negative 6.42 in the i direction plus 9.16 the j direction and the unit is meter per second square okay i'm gonna upload uh the picture of this um uh this page and all the other documents in addition to this video uh this problem is problem five three chapter five problem three